Okay, we're here with uh, Portland head coach Shante Leggins, student athletes Chris Austin and Tyler Robertson. Go ahead and start with an opening comment from Coach Leggins. Um, shoot, you know, uh, conclusion of, of you know, WCC play. It was fun to get out here and, and play. You know, we played against a better team tonight. Um, you got to give them all the credit in the world. They, they made shots, they were prepared, they were well coached. Um, they moved the ball. They, again, it, it, was, it, was a, it was a good effort by them. Um, but just proud of my guys, proud of how they played all season long, proud of how they stepped up to challenges, adversity. Um, a lot of different things happened in that locker room. Those guys stayed tight together. So really happy about how, how, how that all worked out. Uh, I got some great young, young players as, as in you know, grade-wise, as in they're all sophomores and freshmen, so I'm excited about that. I know I got a lot of guys in that locker room looking forward to next year and playing in WCC. Uh, we'll be ready. Um, but this, this is a, it's a tough one because you know, we, we, we wanted to play them. We were excited to play that team. I wanted to see them again. I thought we could, you know, do some different things, but they came out, and I, I, I thought that, that Vranic, number 13, uh, killing his name, my wife will kill me because she's Serbian, but um, Joseph, he, he, he's a good player, man, and he did a lot of things to make that team really move. He's a point guard from, from the low block, and we tried to double him, we tried to do different things, and he found some plays, and then obviously they hit some threes again. They hit 13 at the 27. You just can't win a game doing that, and, and we'll learn. These are learning lessons for a young team, and I'm excited about next year, but... You know, we still got some basketball to play, I'm hope, fingers are crossed. And uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to seeing what we can do if, if we get some postseason action. Go ahead and take questions for the student athletes only at this time from the room. Uh, for either player, um, how would you describe the progress you guys have made from the start of the season to today? Um, I think, me personally, our progress has been tremendous in my eyes. Um, I think if you look at the film, we're two totally different teams. Uh, obviously, our defense has improved. We still have more improvements to make, but defensively, offensively, we've improved a lot. And you know, it's disheartening that we lost tonight. But this offseason, we're looking to um, come back and for the vengeance next year. What, what was the difference uh, in this game versus the one you played in Santa Clara a week or so ago? Um, I mean, shooting the ball, <laughs> they shot the ball pretty similar to the last game. Um, obviously, we're not going to win many games when we're shooting 35% from the field, 31% from three, and 60 from the from the free throw line. But, I mean, credit to them. They're a hell of an offensive team. They're a hell of a team in general. Um, and I hope that they go on to win it, because at least if, if, we lo if we lose to the team that wins it, then we don't need to drop our heads. But, there you go. no, I think, I think there's, a, there's a lot to learn, like Chris said, like Lego said. Um, but no, this offseason is going to be a big one for our team coming back and looking forward to next year. Anybody else in the room for the student athletes? Okay, we'll go over to Zoom for the student athletes. Jeff Ferrata. Hey, for either of you guys, um, their players were talking about how their focus for this game was defense. They thought that you guys were able to score on them pretty easily last time. <clears throat> Could you tell that they were, they were tighter defensively and, and did they give you some trouble there? Um, I wouldn't say they were tighter defensively. I probably they made some adjustment adjustments, but if you look at the stats, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. You know, we we're not going to win many games shooting you know thirty percent from the field, and you know we just missed some shots. Uh, we're confident in our you know scores and shooters, and you know just tonight we just wasn't the ball wasn't bouncing our way. Okay, thank you. Any final questions for the student athletes? You guys are good to go, the two of you. Good dressing, Anderson. We'll take questions from in the room for Coach Leggins. Shall I take kind of the same question I asked them? How would you describe the progress of, of your team from, from you know, October when you got going to, to now? Um, I would say the progress has been, it's been moving forward. I mean, you, you look at these young men and, and they're coming in from different programs and you got true freshmen. And you got to rely on some guys that haven't been in certain situations, and, and you can see them growing. Um, just not as players, but as teammates. Um, you can see that, you know, Chris is a, is a heck of a scorer. T Rob's a playmaker, but you can see that, and Moses, you can see that they're different, how they grew this season as Chris started. Chris is second on our team in assists. If you would have told me that in the beginning of the season, I would have told you, you know, I got a bridge for you somewhere in New York. But he, he's, he's, he, he, they became better as a team. And so, um, when you're able to, to see them grow as players and even as people and teammates, it, it really 
it was really good. It was it really made me feel good about where we're going with our program and the kids we got in it. So I, I did. I do like our trajectory and where we're headed. Did you tonight? Since you you just played last night, the minutes of your stars are playing. Did you see any of the lanes kind of fall off a little bit tonight? Well, you could look at it like that, but you know Santa Clara, man, they came ready. I mean, yeah, I, we could have been as fresh as we wanted to be. If you let them shoot what they did and, and play the way they played, you're not because not not a lot of teams beat them. Right? They're third in the league for a reason. They're top ten in the offense in the country for a reason. And so uh, we we we'll learn a lot from this. You know, I, I'm going to learn a lot from this game and and come back better next year when we get to WCC play. But, you know, the way they played, I mean, they, they, they did the same exact thing to us when we were fresh at their place. And so we got what we wanted. We wanted to play that team, and, and they were ready to go. And, and they made shots. They made plays. And they, they had an extra bounce to their step tonight. Are you, uh, are you interested in playing in, in one of these postseason tournaments? Yeah, for sure, 100%. If we can get in one, I want to play. Uh, those, those guys want to play. A lot of those guys besides – you know, Jack, T. Rob, and Mike—they haven't played in postseason play, so it'd be important for our team. There, we have all freshmen and sophomores. Jack's not playing. Um, Mike's, Mike's—you know—we don't know what he's going to his status is. But those young guys need some experience. You know, we missed two games this year. It'd be nice to get those two games back and keep playing. And you're playing for a championship, and you want to win your last game. And that's, as a player, that's what you want to do. And so, in that situation, yeah, heck yeah, if we have an opportunity to play in one. I want to play in one. Okay, anybody else in the room for coach? Okay, we'll go to Jeff Ferrado on Zoom for Coach. Hey, Shante, uh, you alluded to the fact that uh, these guys are really good offensively, obviously, and they're also a veteran team with older guys uh, playing pretty well right now. How do you think they're going to do the rest of this tournament? Well, you're playing against a tough team that slows it down uh, the next game against St. Mary's, so that's going to be a fun game. I mean, it's, it's contrast of styles, and so they want to get out and play, and St. Mary's wants to play slow, and so – you have one of the fastest teams playing one of the slowest teams. So I think whoever can really dictate the pace of that game will win that game. I mean, that's that offense. We played both teams. We've only played St. Mary's once, but that, that team offensively was very good. And we tried different things. We tried doubling. We tried not. I mean, they just they picked us apart. And so, um, you know, they're going against another team that, you know, bringing back 100% of their guys. So they've, they've, they've both been in this situation. And so we haven't. And so they're going to – it's going to be a fun game to watch. And so – Monday is going to be an interesting time to, to see those two game, those teams play. And so I think, you know, I want like, just like Tyler said, it would be nice to, you know, lose with a team that wins it. And so that's just how, you know, how we think over here. Um, but, you, you know, it's going to be a fun game. Thank you, Shante. No problem. Okay, any final questions from anybody? Okay. Thank you, Coach. We'll be back next year. Go Pilots.